Hey YouTube, this is Raj, and today I'm going to be looking at the top 6 enchantments for the shovel in Minecraft, so why don't we get started? So the first thing that I should explain before I go into detail on this list is that each individual enchantment has a more detailed video that goes with it, so if you want more information about each individual enchantment, you can check out those videos. So the number 6 enchantment for the pickaxe is the Curse of Vanishing. So it is one of two cursed enchantments in the game. It basically means that items disappear when you die, which can be really bad because if you've loaded up a shovel with really good enchantments, you die and it's completely gone. You can only get it through chest loot, fishing, and villager trading. So just check any shovels that you get through these ways and also check any enchantment books you get from these ways. So the number five enchantment for the shovel is the fortune enchantment. Now the fortune enchantment is honestly one of the better enchantments in the game but it's one of the better enchantments for the pickaxe and for the shovel it's not as good there aren't a lot of things where it can actually increase the amount of drops so what it does is increases the maximum amount of drops and the maximum level is three so if you look at this these are ores that are increased when you use fortune but this isn't applicable with shovel and you look through some of the drops where it increases the level so things like redstone carrots glowstone sea lanterns melons nether warts potatoes sweet berries beetroot seeds and wheat seeds you can see that some of them you could potentially use the shovel but a lot of them you can't so what this means is that it can increase the amount of drops per the enchantment level so it can increase the amount of drops by three now if you look through these you can see that a lot of these items you can't use the shovel for and some of them you can um, and then if you look over here tall grass will increase the amount of drops by two per level so flint jungle saplings other saplings sticks and apples it all increases the percentage chance that there'll actually be a drop of them so you can see for apples it's 0.5 to 0.833 percent and a lot of these aren't huge differences, so sticks, it can be up to 3.33% with Fortune 3, 10% for other saplings, 4.17 for jungle saplings. So if you mine something, for example, like gravel, there is a 10% chance with no Fortune enchantment that you'll get flint from that gravel. So it increases with the Fortune enchantment level. So at level 3, there's a 100% chance that you'll get flint from gravel. So when you get up to fortune 3 and you're getting 100% of flint when you're mining gravel that can become very annoying because you're getting as much flint as you're getting gravel. So fortune is also incompatible with silk touch. So the number 4 enchantment for the shovel is the silk touch enchantment. So basically what this does is it drops a block instead of dropping the items within a block. So for example, something like, let's say, coal ore, when you usually mine it with the pickaxe, it'll drop coal. If you have silk touch on that pickaxe, it'll drop the coal ore instead of the coal itself. So the maximum level is one, so it only has one function to it. So there are some pickaxe things you can use it for that won't really apply. The only thing with shovel having silk touch on it is that you can basically get snow and also snow blocks. And if you look through, there's a lot of items where you could use a shovel that's silk touch. So bees nest, beehives, bookshelves, blue ice, campfire, glass, glass panes, coal, coral fans, glowstone, grass blocks, gravel, ice, leaves, melon, mushroom blocks, mycelium, podsoles, sea lantern, and turtle eggs. And if you look at the stuff that would be the most specific to the shovel would be podsol, mycelium, maybe mushroom blocks um, and then stuff like gravel and grass blocks so there is some use to actually having a salt touch shovel so the number three enchantment for the shovel is the unbreaking enchantment and the maximum level of the unbreaking enchantment is three so what it does is it decreases the amount of durability that can be used when you use the item so for example when you use a shovel it uses one durability when you basically use it so what the formula for item durability is it's 100 divided by the level of the enchantment plus one and then there's a percentage chance so what this means is that at unbreaking three you have basically a 25 percent chance it might decrease the durability of your shovel so this means that you can actually make a shovel last four times as long so it's definitely useful in increasing the lifetime of a shovel so the number two enchantment is the mending enchantment it's probably one of the best enchantments in the game, so the maximum level is 1. It can be obtained through chest loot, fishing, 
raids and also villager trading. Basically 1 XP restores 2 durability of that item. And durability is important because when you use up all of your durability of an item, it will make that item disappear. So the item can be held in either your hand, your offhand, or in an armor slot. If you have multiple items that have the mending enchantment, one is chosen at random. The item is at full durability, then the XP will actually be applied to your player level and your enchantment levels. So the thing with the shovel is that it's a bit tricky because there's not a lot of things that will get you XP when you're using the shovel. So you have to make sure it's in your offhand when you're actually doing something that will get you XP. For example, mining, maybe fishing. You can also store XP in furnaces. So if you smelt something like cactuses, it actually gives you a lot of XP and you can store this XP in the furnace until you want to actually get it. Then you can take the die out, it'll give you the XP, and you can actually restore your shovel doing it that way. So the number one enchantment for the shovel is the efficiency enchantment. So the efficiency enchantment, anything that increases the speed that you actually can do a task in Minecraft is really useful. So what it does, it just increases the mining speed when you're actually mining things like gravel or sand. So you can enchant basically pickaxes, axes, and shovels with this enchantment. The maximum level is 5. The block has to be mined by the correct tool. So for example, you can't use the shovel on something like stone and the efficiency won't work at all and it'll be really slow actually. But you can use it on stuff like sand or gravel or dirt. Uh, then you'll get the maximum amount of efficiency out of the enchantment. So efficiency 5 can only be applied on diamond and stone by an anvil. You can get efficiency 5 on gold, wood and also iron by an enchanting table but for diamond and stone you have to use an anvil. You have to get a book and sacrifice it into the shovel. So that was the top 6 enchantments for the shovel. If you're interested I've done individual videos on each enchantment and I also have an enchantment guide on the shovel. If you like this video please give me a like, if you want me to keep producing content please give me a subscribe, you can always leave a comment, I appreciate that, and stay classy YouTube, this is Raj.